What's up, guys? This is Lee and Kurt. We're off for our second annual Pennsylvania scouting trip. Uh, weather looks a little bit better for rain than it did last year when we got rained on half the time. But this year, it's going to be hot. They're calling for 88 today, real feeling 91. So we're going to go ahead and take two kayaks, and we're going to paddle down the river and across the lake. And we're going to spend all day at our favorite spot, scouting and getting ready for the fall season. You ready, buddy? Absolutely. Let's go. Turn the heat on. <laughs> Beautiful morning. This might be the place. We're getting ready to get started. We've got about five and a half miles here today. We're heading up to the top of a mountain right now, um, just over about 1,200 feet. An elevation and we're gonna to get to the top see if we can find the laurel line and uh, see if we can find some ridges and come down a point and find some bedding and then once we get that done we'll come down around lunchtime do a clear cut down near the water and we'll look to find maybe about 10 or 12 setups for stand locations today the beard, do you ever turn white or red oak? well the white oaks are sweeter and the white oaks end up dropping earlier so you're gonna hunt around white oaks and white oak flats in early to mid-October and the deer will eat those white oak acorns first and uh, what's nice about this area is it's got a lot of red oaks but there's white oaks intermixed what we want to find is that area where you find a huge white oak flat where they come and eat in that area you know for an extended period of time plenty of red oaks in here which is awesome but those red oaks are a little bit more bitter and those red oaks end up uh, dropping later, you know, end of October to November. You can just lie and say we're almost there. No, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I'm gonna be honest. We're not even halfway. Yeah, definitely great habitat for rattlesnakes to hide underneath those things, huh? 
Okay, we're uh, 400 feet up. Got another 600 to go. A little tired, coach? No, no, no. It's like hill climbs. It's uh, what we came up wasn't steep, right? No. We're at uh, 1,600 feet. You know what I can describe that as in the movie Lone Survivor where they threw themselves off? That's what that is. Yeah. So we just walked up this steep face from the water, probably about 600 feet in elevation, and we came up to about 1,700 feet, and here's where we found the beginning of Moose Maple and Mount Laurel. We were gonna walk up to 2,100 feet, and we were gonna take a look at a saddle between two small ridges, and we decided that instead of walking through all this thick stuff, that we're gonna to begin to work down this point. You can see right here is this level as I pan down, that this stuff begins to disappear. We begin to get in some open woods. So a little bit of a bench right down here below us. We're gonna follow this point down and our goal is to find some places where we find deer that are on a trail just over the edge of this east facing slope in a west wind. And they come around this point to this west facing slope in an east wind and see if on the way down the point we can catch some of these trails and set up a couple tree stand locations. Holy rub. Put your hand in front of that. This is what yeah. we've been looking for. Wow. That thing that tree's is monstrous. Eight inches. Amazing right here. How he rubbed on this tree, broke that branch, and then he's got a bed right here overlooking this wide open area. He's got to spend a lot of time in this bed right here. Well, yeah, it's protected. Yep. Okay. He probably probably goes down right here, doesn't he? You can see the trail. Yeah. Right here. I mean, we're on it. This is a deer trail right here that we're on. So, so I think he comes down through here, and I think we're going to start to see him following down this way. So let's spread out a little bit and see if between the two of us we can find another one. Because look at this now too. Now they can start to go around. I tell you what, I think this area right in here somewhere, we're definitely gonna want to put a tree stand. Be nice if we could find another rub to get an idea. Oh, buddy, I think this is going to be it right here, right where this bench meets this trail coming down. I think we got to mark something back there. There's a white oak right here. Bunch of red oaks around here. This tree gives you a little bit of cover. Yep, you don't have to cut anything either. Because it's got two stems. We got shooting lanes all the way down you in here. Right kind of a crapshoot on the wind. But I would say if you had a west wind and you were high enough, your scent would go out over. You wouldn't have to worry about anything below. No, nope, I agree. I'm going to mark this as our first tree stand. You want to be this, this side facing this way, so you... I think you want to be... You want to be facing out this way? We're kind of like right there. I think you want to be on this stem so you can shoot right there. there. Shoot that shooting lane right there, and this tree protects how, you. How far back was that? Rub about 50 yards. Yeah. That's perfect. So this is a bench that wraps around. Yeah, I think we just keep I think we're going to find a trail that wraps all the way around right here and comes all the way down there. 
Do you think we should walk up and down and around, or do you think well, one of us should go we here? We need to go down on this one and see where it meets, and then if we want to, we can backtrack. Okay. Why don't you do this? You go this way. I'll go 100 yards or so. I'll drop down to where that is, and I'll come around and I'll meet you somewhere Falls down in out here. There about 80 yards okay. Two of them, huge. And this one is super fresh <laughs> from this year. Goes all the way around the damn tree. Well, and that's why we came in here last year, to get an idea of the lay of the land. And now we know coming down this finger or point that we definitely have a big buck in here. We gotta find out ways to intercept them without spooking them. But we got all day in here to take our time and figure it out. And as we come in this fall, we're going to learn a hell of a lot more again. I guess people that don't hunt, don't enjoy the outdoors, don't get why we do all this work. But sitting right here looking at this view right now, having a beer, chilling with a friend, I'll take it any day. Oh, how's that feel on the toes? <laughs> that's like heaven. Yeah, that's awesome. Talk about spring-fed water on a 90-degree July oh, day. My God, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Good enough to work for you. Can I do a water angle? <laughs> Put your feet under there, man. I did. That's freaking awesome. I can't believe how cold that is. Yeah. That's gotta be 15 degree water. Yeah, it's awesome. Cooled me right now, that's for sure. What a great place to have lunch. Oh my gosh, is it cool down here. <laughs> I think it was just a wind blowing that tree, but I thought our tree was about to come down. There's no witter makers around us, is there? Oh, I think we learned a lot right there just based on the mountain laurel from the bad experience we had last year. And you followed that deer trail into that mountain laurel last year and then got lost and what, took us 35, 40 minutes to get out of it? Three hours. <laughs> three hours. Might have been three days. Three hours, three days. This year we were smart enough to say, okay, here's the Mount Laurel line, we go no further. If you guys have not hunted North Central PA Mountains, there is a elevation line, which today was about 1,700 feet for us, in which it is so thick with Mount Laurel, you can't walk through it and deer can't walk through it. And when we started walking down the finger today from where we met that mountain laurel, we dropped to about 1,600 feet in elevation. And from 1,600 feet in elevation all the way down to where this point met this creek valley, we found so much deer sign it wasn't even funny. We found rubs. Last year I found some scrapes up there. Um, tons of acorns, tons of trails, tons of sign. So we're excited. We got four tree, st four tree stands set up on the way down that point. Five? Four or five. Two in the oak, two in the oaks above, one in that hemlock, and then one right here at, at this creek. Yep. So four. So that's good. So that's four new tree stands we didn't have set up last year. The thing is, is where's he bedding? Is he bedding up in the edge of those mountain laurel, looking down over that steep face? I think it depends on the time of year. Or is he bedding down in this thick clear cut by the water? I think during rut, I think he's down here. Because this is where all the does are. Well, we definitely saw that rub line across the hill coming down into this corner last year. Yep. <sighs> that is something that I will say about deer hunting for me. 
is if it was just about getting a deer, that would be one thing. But it's all the stuff that goes into it. It's the cool shit you see. It's the beautiful animals you see. It's getting away from work. It's spending time with friends. It's, you know, making new memories and experiences. I mean, I don't have to hunt to be out in nature and love it. But I do love to hunt. So what's our plan? I want to score just above that clear cut all the way down. You just keep walking the edge of it? Because mm -hmm. that'll take us all the way back to kayaks, won't it? Yeah, yeah. And I, I, think, I think we'll think... find some real good places to put some stands along the way, but it's trying to find the right wind direction is what I'm concerned about. So Lee and I just set up this grapevine mock scrape in this camera. There's this heavy trail right in front of me here. And as you come across, there's this huge clear cut, super thick stuff. It's about 200 yards down to the water. And as I come around, you'll see that there's a creek that's down below us right there. The trail continues right across here. We've set up a grapevine mock scrape and then over here, We've got a camera set up. One thing that we're thinking about today, because right now I'm looking in a northern direction, but the wind right now is supposedly coming from the west-southwest, which is actually to the left or to the left behind the camera, but the wind is actually coming down here, almost a southeast. So what we're thinking is happening is that southwest wind is coming around this mountain. It's coming up this body of water and then during the day with the thermals coming, the south wind is bringing these thermals right up this hill. So even though it's a west or southwest wind, right now at this time, still before noon, we're getting a southeast wind because of the topography and because of the thermals. Who knows, maybe it's a totally separate buck from the big buck up top. Be nice to have a couple giants walking around here. Well, then we got one grub right there too. Yeah, well this is a line that goes all the way across this slope, remember? done what we wanted to get done that's cool they must have been bedded right there in that grass at the bottom of the field there mm -hmm. all three does yeah tell me if you see a rack pop up I see five deer in front of me right now so I'm not good Lee and I are up after a nice dinner last night in the campfire, sleeping on the cots in the tent. Beautiful morning. We're heading out this morning just to do a, 
a short little trip um, we may not even hike we're not sure yet but we've got at least one of two clear cuts we still want to get checked out so we may try to get one of those two clear cuts checked out this morning and then once we're done we got to go back gut feeling tells me black vibes out of bed yeah get the tent and put it away uh, do all over the tents pretty wet this morning awesome weekend so far a little bit more scouting here but we found some great intel yesterday Yep. Yep, they're coming right in here to drink. Look at the size of those hoof prints. I think that's horse. No, those are just all hoof. Oh, over there? Yeah. Could, could be a bear. That's a big bear. That looks like a bear print right yeah, there. Yeah, it doesn't look, it? there's no defined, that is a bear. Look, see? Yep. You can see right, yeah, that's definitely that bear one. track. That's right a there. Big bear. Yep. Bear coming in to get a drink right into the water. And we've got this well defined trail right here that's going along the edge of this real old clear cut in this mature wood. So we're going to follow this along and see if we find maybe an intersection of trails to possibly put a location for a tree stand. I think this clear cut is too old. I don't think it's thick enough to hold them for bedding in one particular area. Yeah. And I think the trail that we just came across on the east edge of that clear cut is an old trail. Yeah, I definitely think like 10 years ago that would have been a lot better. But now there's no distinct line between these mature woods that are right here and that clear cut that's probably 15 to 20 years old that we just came from. So. I would assume that this is probably not a place that nope. we're going to go ahead and hunt. So let's see if we can walk back the transition area on the edge here and see if we can find any trails out closer to the road and maybe get lucky again with another water hole or something. Yep. So we have found no fresh rubs in here. All the rubs that we have found look like they are at least three years old, have kind of grown back over again. So we're definitely thinking that this area it's not going to marry it to come back and hunt just because the clear cut is too old and there's really no huge defined edge of where they can bed to where they can come out and feed. So we're going to move on. So all that deer sign that we saw was concentrated around that mowed field in the middle of this big forest. We haven't seen any defined trails other than those coming into that field. So I really think that that would be the place to hunt here, but it's so close to a a road that I have a feeling there's a lot of pressure so just don't know if it's worth it compared to the other places we found. Can we do this? No, not at all. <laughs> I know you're telling me. Okay guys, PA scouting is done for 2022. Uh, actually Lee and I had a lot of success yesterday in the place that we had to uh, canoe across a body of water to get there, uh, set up a good, what, 10, 10, 10 11 stands? 10 stand spots. Have wind direction set up for them. Uh, we're gonna go back in in August and get a cell cam in that area and check just double them. check to make sure that those tree stands are set up. But PA scouting's done, another good weekend. Time to go back to uh, the real world. Yeah, we gotta work next week. I know, we do. Yeah. Oh well. So this is Kurt and Lee from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like my videos and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. See ya.